Okay, this. So welcome to our new session, the coordination and linking system, which we are going to talk about now. So here you can see, what do you mean by linking system? So can you just look at the picture and uh, now we are going to get a picture. So look, look at this picture and uh, tell me what is, what is the actions that are happening in this picture? Uh, could you see two pictures? And what is happening in these pictures? Please tell me. In both pictures, there are applying force. Very good. In one picture, what do you see? Left-hand side picture. What do you see in the left-hand side picture? A boy is sharpening his pencil. Yes. Very good. Somebody is sharpening the pencil. So for sharpening the pencils, uh, what all are the organs is that boy using? Can you, can anybody tell me? Uh, her mu their muscles and uh, hands. They are hand using muscles. hand muscles. Okay, both the hands. Only hands he's using and nothing else? He's also using his fingers to grab. That is what? Grab. Uh, the entire hand, I, I understand ki pura heart, fingers ke saath, because when muscles are involved from the palms and wrist, heart bolo to har cheez aa gai. Uske alawa koi or organ bhi wo use kar raha hai maa par. His brain Yes, okay. Brain to master organ hai. until and unless brain cannot command and uh, give them the directions, he cannot even hold that sharpener and a pencil. He is able to hold the sharpener and a pencil because his brain is working. But if uh, there is another organ that you need to use karna padega to sharpen a pencil apart from hands, हाथ के अलावा कुछ और भी यूज़ करना पड़ेगा उसको सुनो ओके वो शार्पनर में ही ही हैज़ टू इंसर्ट पेंसिल इनसाइड द शार्पनर राइट तो वो कैसे इंसर्ट करेगा वो दूस एक हाथ से करेगा लेकिन उसको कैसे पता चलेगा कि वेर इस डी होल इन डी शार्पनर बाय सीइंग हाँ सो विच ऑर्गन इस ही यूजिंग वन मोर आईज 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 आर आल्सो यूज्ड ओके सो देर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स तो आपको एक छोटी सी एक्टिविटी करना है तो यू हैव टू यूज योर टू हैंड and your eyes are also you have to use you cannot just close your eyes and uh, do this work okay without your eyes so these all these coordinations and this linking is being monitored and taken care by an organ and that organ is brain and similarly if you look at uh, this uh, woman who is opening the knob can you just guess what all are the organs that are being uh, used when she is trying to open this door when she's trying to open the door knob consequence organs involved hong is me and eyes brain Yes, हम यहाँ पर coordination and linking brain तो है, लेकिन किस किस को coordinate करना पड़ेगा just to open this knob, door knob. Hand. Yes. Hand. Only hand. One hand only. Eyes also. और कोई organs नहीं होंगे. अगर आप door open करने जाते हैं, तो किसी चीज़ पर ठहरना तो पड़ेगा आपको. How are you standing?
your, your whole posture, you know, you're standing on your legs or after large muscles, you don't know from where all you have to exert your pressure. You are putting some pressure on your legs also and your hands also to open and off. So your brain has to make so many coordinations and linking system has to be carried on and they have to be well balanced. Okay, until and unless it is not well balanced, you will not be able to perform any activity. That is the reason anything has to be done in collaboration. And when you are seeing running, so if this person is running, can you tell me how many, how many of his muscles and body parts are involved when they are running? Legs, hand, and brain. Legs, entire body. Hands, yes. the entire body, you know, eyes, nose, they have to breathe also, isn't it? Without breathing, they cannot. And while running, they have to hear. Their uh, ears are also alert. Peaches are you are running on a road, peaches are vehicle are you. Your ears have to sense you, you have to move to another place, to another direction. So almost all sense organs have to be linked together coordinated together whenever you do an activity. So similarly, all these activities which you are saying, these activities a person can perform if only he has got well-balanced brain and the linking system. So such a movement of the balance, if your body doesn't have a balance, then you, get, you just see the drunkards on the road. When they drink, what happens? You know, they're, uh, the part of the body, the, the I mean, brain that gets affected is the one which cannot balance your body. So you can see how a drunkard person, when his brain is affected, how he walks. Because the uh, functioning, the proper coordination and the linking system is not there. This get affected. And similarly, you even see the paralytic patients and a small babies also. If you just if you can just observe small children in your home, you can see that slowly there all these connection linking systems are developing with the age. So uh, in the beginning, you know, if you bring something near a child, it takes time for him to look towards that. So slowly these systems develop. So this thing, uh, linking systems are coordinations and linking has got a very complex uh, system in our body and is very important. If it's functioning, anything fails in this functioning, then there will be a lot of problems. We will not be able to do any task or any work. So let us see how uh, God has made all this in our body because now we are trying to do all these functions. You know, we are making artificial robots who could do the functions of a human being, but still can a robot think like human being? Artificial in intelligent, augmented reality, all this has come, but it is not naturally what a human being can do. No computers, no robot, no uh, augmented reality. Nothing can do that. So what is there inside our brain? What are our brain cells made up of? And how are all these functioning happening? Let's see how this all is happening and how uh, several systems work together to do a small perform a small activity. So you can see that when a person is uh, moving, he's using his skeletal system, muscular system, and several other systems also that have to play their own role. And what can you tell me what is the response to stimuli? What do you mean by response to stimuli? What is the response to stimuli? Achha, ek, supposing I'll tell you, uh, yes, Arbaz, you wanted to say? It helps to I'm action feel action. that pain. Hmm? If in, uh, to any action. For any action, there is always a reaction. Very good. At least Arbaz and Mustaba has tried and you both get one, one point for it because every action has a reaction. 
for example, if you are keeping your leg, if you see in the picture, where is that boy going to put, uh, why, did, why is the leg of that boy is up, not on the floor? When he is walking, you know, ek pair to uska zameen pe hai, dusra pair wo usne utha ke kyu rakha hai? To avoid that, uh... Why did he do this action? Because he feel pain because, uh, because that substance has... Uh, yes, it has got something hurting material, pricking material, must be the thorns or the stones, jo, uske pair ko prick kya hoga, and he has felt the pain and immediately he has moved his leg. You can see in the picture. So what? Uh, so now can you tell me what is the action here and what is the reaction? Action A. Action is uh, he is uh, walking. Action. And yeah. reaction is uh, he's supporting his leg. Yes. He, he feels reaction is he has removed his leg. But why did he remove his leg? Because he's getting pain. Yes, very good. So the action was pain and the reaction was removing the leg. So once you have this is called uh, in science, you called stimuli and response. Stimuli, well, the pain is an stimulus. Because of that stimulus, you are take, doing a response. You are responding back. So this is, uh, act, stimulus and response together, is this is what is called as the uh, stimuli and response. So you can see what, what is happening here in this. All living organisms respond to stimuli. So you can see ये स्टिमुलाई उसको फील करने के लिए यहाँ पर एक माइक्रो सेकेंड्स लग रहे हैं कि ही इस ये कहाँ से पास हो रहा है इफ यू जस्ट लुक एट इट व्हेन ही किप्स हिज लेग ओवर देयर सो लाइक एन इलेक्ट्रिक सर्क्यूट उसके पैर से वो पीछे स्पाइनल कॉर्ड आपके पीछे जो स्पाइनल कॉर्ड रहती है वहाँ से कनेक्ट होके ब्रेन पे उसको जा रहा है, तो then he is feeling that pain. Or yes. pay, jab brain usko order de hai ki what he has to do, ki he has to remove his leg immediately. So then he immediately he is taking an action. So this entire action and reaction, or you call it a response to the stimuli, is taking place in a fraction of seconds. You cannot even calculate the time. Wo kitne time mein ye sab ho raha hai. So it is so well organized in our body. Allah Ta'ala has kept a system like that. Ki you are doing it. You don't even realize ki aapka brain shad ye aise pass ho raha hai. Itna sab to aap saunchte bhi nahi honge ki ye sab ho raha hai hamari body mein. To ek chota sa action hum jo le rahe hai. That action plays and how are each and every nerve inside our body, you know, our nervous system is made up of like what was the functional unit of the kidney in excretion system we were talking about, what is it? To remove waste from the body. body. Yes, ma'am. Nephrons, very good. Nephrons were the functional unit of our uh, excretory system we have learned. So similarly, many people get uh, confused between nephron and neuron. Nephrons are the functional units of kidney excretory system, whereas neurons are the functional units of our uh, nervous system brain and the spinal cord. They are made up of these specialized cells called neurons. So how are these neurons made? Like you have seen in nephrons, we have a Bowman's capsule, you have got a PCT, a proximal tubule, as well as distal tubule, convoluted tubule, loop of Hanle, and how are the Bowman's capsule and all were uh, in the outer cortex forming a shape of a kidney and functioning according to the functioning of the excretion how the wastage were removed the cell was made in that shape so similarly abhi hamare paas jo actions ho rahe hain if you can look at the neuron a cell neuron jo cell hai 
वो सेल का पूरा शेप एंड ऑल द फंक्शनिंग इज मेड लाइक दैट विद द डेंट्रॉइड एक्सॉन एंड ऑल द अदर पार्ट विल बी कमिंग टू नो अबाउट इट सो दीज आर द सेल्स विच इज शोइंग यू मेकिंग यू फील सो मुश्तबा गेट्स द पॉइंट फॉर राइट आंसर अरबाज प्लीज मार्क हिम and uh, now let us see what is happening mm. if you look at the for example if you look at a mouse and a cat uh why just when you why how is it uh, when a cat sees a uh, when a rat sees a cat why is the cat running away so isme kya kya can you just tell me what is the response and what is the stimuli response that uh, he the mouse saw the cat yeah the rat the cat so when it saw the cat to usko wo bhaga kyun bhag kyun raha hai usko kya stimuli mila hai jo ne ye bhagna running is a response to stimuli kya hai jiski wajah se it's running mam usko kha because he fear of cat afraid when he would fear फियर एकदम उसके पास फियर आ गया डर आ गया उसको फियर इज द स्टिमुलाई तो उस स्टिमुलाई का वो रेस्पॉन्स क्या दे रहा है इट्स रनिंग ओके सो एंड सिमिलरली इफ यू लुक एट अ प्लांट प्लांट इज ग्रोइंग टुवर्ड्स द अपर वर्ड्स टुवर्ड्स द सनलाइट तो यहां पर सनलाइट के तरफ जा रहा है तो व्हाट इज रेस्पॉन्स एंड व्हाट इज स्टिमुलाई इसमें स्टिमुलाई क्या है और रेस्पॉन्स मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द सनशाइन सनलाइट की तरफ मूव हो रहा है तो व्हाट इज द स्टिमुलाई एंड हु इज रेस्पॉन्सिंग स्टिमुलाई कौन दे रहा है यहाँ पर और रेस्पॉन्स कौन दे रहा है लाइक कैट एंड रैट में यू कैन से दैट रैट इज गिविंग एन स्टिमुलाई and cat is i mean cat is giving a stimuli and rat is responding to so, cat usko jaise cat ko dekh raha hai it has got a fear and it is running so ab isme plant and sunshine mein who stimuli kahan se aa raha hai response kon de raha hai stimuli plant is responding and stimuli is sunshine stimuli de raha ha yes plant is responding and the sun is stimulating very good sunlight is the stimuli and the plant is responding jab usko stimuli sunlight se mil raha hai because for photosynthesis for the growth of the plant plant requires sunlight sunlight is the basic requirement for the photosynthesis for preparing the food so the response uh, the stimulus is from the sun and the response what plant is doing is it's growing towards it very good so except uh, arbaz and mushtaba nobody else arbaz you can give a lot marks for yourself for this good answer so now uh, the cat may be running because it saw a rat now there is a sequence of events that bring about response ye kya kya sequence hai how they start from detecting changes in the environment or uh, transmission of the information processing of the same so finally the response will detect and execute the appropriate action so let us do an activity to see how holding a falling stick okay this activity is given to you in your book if there is a stick okay take a long scale or a stick some half uh, meter and keep your fingers in holding position to show the shape like for example You no, know, I have taken this spoon. Okay, I am holding it like this. Can you all see? See a spoon. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So yes, I am yes. holding a spoon like this. So similarly, you are. Uh, you can just look at it. That a long stick is. So between the fingers, you are going to hold it. So. it's a half meter long stick and that is how you are holding it okay so supposing if you are holding it slightly between your two fingers right 
I'm just holding this between my two fingers. Khali light, slightly kar rahi hoon. So what are the chances of it? Uh, if I am thoda bhi main unconscious one, so you can see that it's falling down, right? If the grip is not strong for, if I'm holding something lightly with my fingers, thoda bhi mera finger ka movement uh, light ho jayega. So you can see that it, the suspended thing will fall down, okay? To hold a stick or a scale near, what we are doing is it is uh, suspended between your fingers. And then you feel that there is a, if there's a small gap of around uh, one centimeter between the thumb and the stick or the scale or the four finger, could you hold it exactly at the open where it is suspended between the fingers? So you have to have kuch aapko hold karna hai, to aap aisa light nahi pakar sakte. You have to have a grip for holding it. Agar wo girna nahi hai, so you have to tightly hold it. Am I right? Did you all understand? What, I, what am I trying to say? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. Yes. So how far up this point from the end suspension between your fingers, you'll be able to hold it. Okay. It is just, uh, so why did this happen? Why is that uh, stick slipping down? Because the time taken for the stimulus that is leaving the stick and the response of the nervous system. Agar ye dono ke beech mein jo time hai, stimulus and the response ke beech mein. So what is happening by the time it is reaching to your brain that you have to hold the stick and your fingers are lightly held on it. And by the time the message reaches the brain and brain gives back the response of the action to be taken, Okay, so you can see how the messages have passed. How fast do you think the process was? Can you guess? Ke itne pure process ke liye kitna time laga hoga? Lagta hoga? For Ma'am, half zero, 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 point zero, one or two seconds. Yes, fraction of second. Pura ek second bhi nahi lag hai. Second ka bhi a fraction, maybe one by fourth of a second, jis mein ye pura action ho ja raha hai. So the responses are yes, brought about by a rapid changes in some muscles and such changes are usually changing the stimuli. So ye, this is the stimuli and the response which is re reaching and based upon this stimuli, you are going to make your responses, okay? They are usually changing. So now let us see how are they integrated, these pathways, and how does the coordination takes place. So if you look at this, you know, Greeks were the people, first people who had started thinking about, and most of the science has, which we read today has is in Greek and Latin. We keep on telling you, I keep on telling you, any uh, word like nephron, ne neuron, anything you are talking about, they're all either Greeks or Latin words. If we say in Urdu, we will say that it is a rug. So in the books, you have a rug, a shiri, a rug. These are all our Urdu words. But the same thing in the Greek and Latin. English is not in English. In English, you are talking about brain, nervous system. We will say brain in English. But nervous system is a word point from Greek or Latin. So the Greek believes that all functions of the body were controlled by the brain. Since the damage uh, to that organ produced remarkable change in the behavior. So every function that has been controlled by brain. So let us see, this is how the brain looks like. If you look at the picture, so Gallen was the first physiologist uh, in 129 to 200 AD who has made an observation of the brain. And according to him, we have got nine minutes left. So just before one minute, I'll ask you if you are uh, able to understand and if you want me to send another link, I'll be sending another link or you want the class to be uh, continued uh, tomorrow. You have to think and tell me. Uh, by the time we end, we have got nine more minutes. 
so that's how you know he has made this observation so what were the gallons observation one of his patient he was a physiologist he was a doctor so he has observed that one of his patient who was has who has suffered a blow on the neck when falling from a chariot so chariot you know in the olden days ek ghode ki buggy hoti thi wo buggy mein koi baith ke ja raha tha so for buggy mein se somebody fell down so when he fell down he was having pain in his neck so wo wo jaise niche gira to maybe his neck got hurt and uh, that patient was having a uh, pain you can just see how he fell down from the chariot so wo jaise gira usko peeche back pe uske मार लग गया एंड वॉट हैपन कंप्लेन द लॉस ऑफ फीलिंग इन द आर्म उसको मार तो नेक पे लगा लेकिन उसका हाथ वो यूज नहीं कर पा रहा है देर इज नो कंट्रोल एंड द मूवमेंट इन हिज हैंड दिस वॉज द प्रॉब्लम विच ही वॉज फेसिंग so gallen concluded that nerves were of two kinds those of sensation and those of action so till that time you know they were they were not knowing ki response and stimuli there are ek nerve system rahega jo aap brain ko indication dega about the stimuli and the, there is some other nerves which is going to inf- uh, get information from the brain uh, in the form of what response has to be taken so we are going to uh, then we came to know that there are two types of nerves sensational nerves and eff- affected nerves in its action so the one which creates sensation and the other which takes an action okay so that is what your stimuli and response so if you can see that when you are moving your hand integrating so till 18th century late 18th century uh, doctors and the scientists could not relate how is this happening gallen was the first one because he has observed that this man when he fell down his action he was not able to use his muscular like uh, his system was working partially stimuli to he was feeling but he was not able to respond to that stimuli because the respond nerves got damaged in that accident so then psychology physiologist began to study the mechanism of nerve functioning and he, they found that how these signals are transmitted and they make connections between one another so it's a very interesting uh, way by which it is like an electric impulses that pass between uh, them and this uh, working of a nervous system that uh, uh, keeps on moving till uh, it takes a complete action so let us see how is the structure of a neuron it's a highly specialized cell which is responsible for the transmission and it has got two parts there is the cyton or the cell body and we call it dendrites axon and terminals so i want you all to uh, copy down this is very important once you understand this you will be able to uh, understand the whole system so copy down this diagram and write down what are dendrites cyton of the cell body axon and the axon terminal to go for the namaz so you want me to continue tomorrow yes ma'am so okay we will continue it tomorrow you uh, draw this diagram take a picture of it and post it in the whatsapp group and those who have understood it well if you have got any doubts ask me the question then and there itself so that it gets clarified and see you all tomorrow uh, take care allah